All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. And a good day today from Beam Park Tempo. Here today at my home park, it was Six Flags Great Adventure for Holiday in the Park. Came home to visit for a few days um, and some great news, the Jersey Devil RMC Raptor is open. So head into that first, can't wait. Here at my brother, Mr. Kevin. Hello. You know him from the Universal videos and Disney and such. So yeah, gotta go through the security protocols and we'll be in the park. Let's come have some fun. Just walked into the park on at Great Adventure's Main Street here. Wanted to fill it up for the holidays. Beautiful tree in the background. Oh, Bugs Bunny's out. Meeting and greeting. Oh, he's good to quarter. see characters. Give Bugs Bunny a quarter. Just give him a quarter. Just give Bugs a quarter. <laughs> yeah, um, some rides are closed, but Jersey Devil is open. That's all I really care about, anyhow. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go on a bunch of coasters, have a bunch of fun, maybe do some holiday stuff. Ooh, that smell. Yeah, that is a nice smell. Kevin's been on Jersey Devil, so what, what was your view on Jersey Devil? You've been on how many? What, one ride? Yeah, I got one ride on. Okay. It's intense. Intense, okay. Like Toro intense? Um, no, 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 but it's in your face. Not as much as the Lost Coaster, but like, it's in your face. face. The, but you sit weird, like, maybe it was just the one car I was sitting in, because I was like closer to the front, but like your legs are like spread to the sides. Okay. Like, it's weird though, but Unfortunately, we. Solid. Unfortunately, we can't take you on it um, because Six Flags is very no filming policy in any of their coasters. But we'll definitely give you some off shots oh, cool. um, of the coaster in action, and yeah, we'll go from there. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that drop. The tallest, longest, and fastest single rail in the world. The Jersey Double and the original track layout by RMC. Uh, it just uh, so much fun. It looks beautiful. Sounds smooth. I'm really pumped for this one. Woo! Getting on a new coaster, you get those jitters, and I have them right now, and this is really, really cool. This wonderful sign, welcome to the Pine Barrens. Literally, right where the Jersey Devil is built, is we're gonna be going through the Pine Barrens. The Jersey Devil is based, um, there's a whole story behind it, I'm not gonna get too much into it now, but I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can access the legend of the Jersey Devil. But yeah, this is so cool. Such an original coaster name too. Doesn't look that crowded back here either way either. Very There's nice. Pretty much no line. There she goes. We could do this twice. <laughs> I, I want to get more than one ride on her, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Uh, that was a bit of a two zero G roll. No, it doesn't look all that bad of a Q. Yeah. Yeah, make you get a locker. How'd you like it? Oh, uh, that is a. Oh, they reused the um, the devil from El Diablo. And they yes. just brought it right yep. over here. Yep. Perfect. Now it makes sense. Like I said, unfortunately, I can't take you farther on the queue, but uh, she just looks brilliant. Here we go, guys. The Jersey Devil. Woo! Just had not one but two rides on the brand new RMC Jersey Devil coaster. What a brilliant, spectacular, in your face, all around wonderful coaster. The airtime is incredible. That first drop is sick. The inversions, the stalls, um, just all together. It's a really long ride, too. It's super, super smooth. Honestly, one of them, it, it, it's up there in my top 10. I'm just not sure exactly where I got to figure that out. But such a brilliant and magnificent coaster. With virtually no queue, only waited about 15 minutes for the first round and 10 for the second. But it is just not as cool as the Lost Coaster, but it's really just an insane coaster all in all. Let's see if I can show you some off shot. You really can't get close in order to film it. Magnificent, brilliant coaster. RMC, you've outdone yourself. The tallest, longest, and fastest single rail coaster in the world. Airtime right there is insane. They do push down your restraints a little harder than I would like. Oh, that stall is brilliant too. 
Um, we could have got a little more airtime if they weren't so pushy with the restraints, but I, I get it. I want to be safe. But yes, magnificent. What a beauty. My 184th, 184th coaster here, Jersey Devil. It's really cool. All around the line, they tell the legend of the Jersey Devil. Again, I am just blown away by the Jersey Devil. What an incredible coaster. Now it is time for one of my favorite hyper coasters of all time, the B&M here in Nitro. Typical, wonderful ride here. Just gonna give it another whirl yet again. Can't take you on a line, but you guys know my thoughts on Nitro. Right behind you got the wonderful and awesome Batman the Ride. I'm so, you know, they don't have a lot of these around, so I'm so happy we got one here at our Six Flags. Batman the Ride. <laughs> just had another solid uh, second from the back row ride on Nitro. Classic B&M Hyper. Love that injector. Uh, sorry, that floater air time you really do get on there. Oh, there you have a new coaster over here. A little Jersey Devil coaster. Oh, I haven't seen that. I mean, it looks like... I, it, it looks like the blue one. Is the it the one they took over there? That's what I wonder. If it's the same coaster, then no. But if it's not a credit, I gotta get on it. No, no. Absolutely. No. <laughs> Credit's a credit. No, it's the yeah, so the little Jersey Devil coaster is a credit I got many years ago. They just moved the coaster into Kitty Land. And repainted it. Yeah, um, I was hyped. Maybe I was gonna get another coaster credit today, but no. <laughs> not gonna waste the time now. We're gonna go hack a ride on the Dark Knight Indoor Wild Mouse coaster. Unfortunately, it's closed today. Um, so I guess we're gonna go hack Metropolis then. The wonderful Sally Dark right here. Wonder Woman in the background, the world's tallest lasso. The doors are open. Yeah. That's unfortunate it's closed. Ooh, Gotham City Snacks, that's new. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Yeah, that's brand new. It's been about a year since I've been to this park. They do wrestling shows out of there. Out of here, yep, yeah. they do do wrestling. Um, I forget the promotion. It's um, not Wrestle Pro. Uh, GCW. I think, I don't no, know. NJ, uh, NJCW or something. <laughs> anyway, we're going to hack Metropolis. Time for a nice ride on the Sally Dark Ride Justice League's Battle for Metropolis. Haven't been on this ride in a hot minute. Do you love this ride, dude? Still blown away by the Jersey Devil. My lord, that was such a sick coaster. Woo! Luther's been building wet thousands and using them all in the city. They're causing massive damage and difficult to defeat. We've got more bad news. Luther and the Joker just captured one of them. I think she's being held in Let's Corp headquarters along with Green Lantern, Supergirl, and Flash. I've seen some suspicious activity over there, but can't get close to the Kryptonite powered force field. Lex is also blocked by entry. Are there any other threats they should know about before I send them out there? Hey, recruits! Okay, I scored top 10% of all time, but honestly, I don't count that. That was such an uncalibrated screen experience. All the targets were off, the, the ride was, the audio was down. They really need some TLC on that ride. That was awful. Great ride, other than, yeah, which is. Uh, what are we doing next, Mr. Kate? We're going to see the Christmas thing. They have a frost show. I don't think it's going to happen, but. <laughs> Unfortunately, cause closed. We go with Green Lantern too. Oh, let me hit over that way. Yeah. And Joker's over there. Hit the Joker up. Yeah. Let's do that. Good S and S spinning. Yep. S and S free spin. I haven't been on Joker in a minute. Minute. Neither have I. Not Joker or. Yeah, but that ride is just needs some TLC. What is back there? Joy World. Joy to the world. They have a menorah oh, back here. <laughs> so I guess like Christmas and Hanukkah come together. So when they, they're all inclusive. Go quiet. There's no Kwanzaa. Huh. Oh, no, maybe that's Kwanzaa down there. Hanukkah fact. No, just straight Hanukkah. And unfortunately, Al Toro's still in the chopping block. Um, she derailed this year, unfortunately, towards the end. They are bringing her back. They're working on the track, and El Toro will be operational again. Hopefully, they said by 2022. Um, but yeah, Kinnikaw doesn't operate in the winter, nor does Zumanjaro, unfortunately. Coming back to hit up the two B&Ms here, Green Lantern and Superman. Kev, want to do the slingshot? Good. You good? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I do like the slingshot here. They got this wonderful nice ornament here. Oh, some gifts. Some gifts over yonder. Horse. Yeah. Over here in the summer, they had a 
a maze going through the whole year. Really? Yep. Huh. It's been cool. They did like a Christmas maze. Blocked off now. Yeah, they could have done like a Christmas hard. Like a Krampus thing? They were smart. I've only seen one Krampus maze, and that's when I went to Vegas, but it was during Halloween. Really? Yep. And the B&M playground here, Superman the Flyer in the background, and of course the Green Lantern to stand up here, which came from Kentucky Kingdom. Um, yeah, love, love the B&Ms, love the Christmas decor all around. Love being able to come to my home park on, a, on my trip back for my birthday and all, but yeah, this has been a wonderful day here. Six Flags, great adventure. The best Six Flags park in my opinion. Not just saying that because it's my home park, it really is the best Six Flags park. Um, that and then Magic Mountain. In my opinion, but yeah. <laughs> had a wonderful ride on Superman, decided to opt out. I'm sorry, had a wonderful ride on Green Lantern, decided to opt out of Superman. Gonna be heading over now, giving another ride. Final ride on the Jersey Devil, just to get one more ride on that magnificent coaster. Had a wonderful time here, my Mr. Kevin Skis. Hell yeah. Love the Christmas music, how they're still going. They're going here until New Year's, guys, so get on the Six Flags. Great adventure. For the neighborhood, there was something about the warm glow that ignited within me feelings of joy, peace, love, and togetherness that the holidays bring. And now, as I get to watch the holiday magic sparkle in the eyes of my own children, the wonder has grown. That's my wish for you, that the lights of the holidays warm your hearts as you enjoy holiday magic, a celebration of the season. All right, heading over now, back to the holiday memory area of the park. One last ride on Jerusalem Devil before we call it a day here. Wonderful time at Holiday in the Park. I'm just really pumped I was able to get to a theme park during this trip, during the cold, and they got a few rides on Jersey Devil. Woo! Just had a back row night ride on Jersey Devil. And the back is where it's at on Jersey Devil. What an insane, incredible coaster. The airtime, the hang time, the everything all immersive. What a hell of a coaster. RMC, you definitely delivered. Thank you very much for that. Mr. Kevin, Jersey Devil, nighttime. Uh, that ride's great. Amazing. It's different at night. Yes. But from the 7th row to the 11th and 12th row, there's a big difference on that drop. It's very whippy, the drop. drop. Yeah. It's a. And it's, it's amazing. It's as good as Toro's drop on the back. Honestly, it's equivalent. I would put it in my top five that I got three rides on it. What an insane, incredible coaster. Woo! And that's going to be a wrap, ladies and gentlemen, today from Six Flags Great Adventure for Holiday in the Park and also to experience a new RMC single rail in Jersey Devil. What an incredible day. And honestly, what an incredible, incredible coaster in the Jersey Devil. It's fitting. It's original. It's an original track layout, although they are cloning it, but... Um, Six Flags Great Adventure needed a new new coaster, um, and that really did it justice. The theming, the airtime, the hang time, everything involved. What a day here. Thank you guys for coming with us to Six Flags Great Adventure. Catch you guys next time. I'll meet you at the Midway. <laughs>